so far. What I did is I went online and started printing off different pictures of crystals. So this is Lepidolite. I grabbed some plain index cards. This one is Howlite. Amethyst. Hematite. Same one. Selenite. Oh, Selenite Tower. This is Angelite. I think. Yes, Angelite. Crazy Lace Agate. Traphite. Citrine. This one is Garnet. Clear Quartz. Amber. Bismuth. Appetite. Um, Jade. No, Green Adventuring. I'm sorry. Green Adventuring. Blue Lace Agate. Amatrine, which is Amethyst and Citrine. Copper. Rose Quartz. Red Jasper. Dalmatian Jasper. And the beautiful um, Labradorite. So, I think that's all of them. So basically what I'm going to do is since I printed and cut them all up, I'm going to go find some paint and paint over these lines because I don't want lines on these. I'm also going to figure out what to do in the back. So as soon as I get this going, I'm going to, it's going to be a broken up video today. So just, I'll have it in order of how it goes down. Hello everyone. So this is what I'm doing. I've got green, blue, purple, and red as the base color. I was thinking, you know, how there's four suits in a uh, playing card deck. That was the train of thought that I was going with for this deck. I wanted to show you guys. I am doing watercolor. And of course, I'm just... Let's see if I can clear that up a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm just putting color on. And since this red is a little wonky, just give me some more paint. I've been painting multiple layers so it can turn out looking like that. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. I will keep you guys posted on the next part. I'm going to show you what I've done so far. I have this easy already mixed paint I got it for 50 cents at Walmart um, and I put it on the back side so all the backs are going to be the same and what I'm going to do is I went on pickmonkey.com and printed off some images I've got some butterflies and I also used their fun cool font and created bismuth and there's the bismuth photo I also have glitter glue um, just to incorporate the fairies into the deck. Also, I use colored glue stick because then it, you actually can see where you are gluing. So I'm just going to do this one real quick. Now the deck that I have, I showed you guys earlier in the video, all the different crystals. It is a 22 card deck and I don't want this video to be so small, it's so large. So you guys are just going to get me just doing one. So it's very simple. I, I spent a lot of time cutting these out. This and I'm trying to keep an eye on the time. So far I've put into probably three to four hours into this because it the cutting and the painting and the printing has taken up a lot of time. So there's the actual card. And what I'm doing on this side that real quick is putting and the back side that I'm doing right now all of them are going to be the same because if you ever look at an Oracle deck they're all the same so that's why I went and got a pre-mixed paint to make it all the same color because when you mix your own acrylics they tend they can end up being different colors and that's not my intent so here's the back side 
And what I'm doing, just so you guys can see, squirting some glitter glue down. And all I am doing is spreading the glitter around on the back. I may put glitter on the other side. I haven't really quite decided yet. Also, because of time constraints, I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to do. But the cool thing about making your own Oracle deck is it's very personalized. You know, it's personal to you because the artist and the author who creates decks, because normally it's two different people that create decks, it's personalized to them. And that's why it always comes with a book or a manual because that it, it's explained the art the author and the artist are trying to convey what they intended for each card. Now, what's cool about making your own is you made it. So you know exactly what you want each card to be. And you can do all sorts of different things. Like for me, I'm very connected with crystals and I don't have a crystal oracle deck. And I was like, you know what? I'm artistic and I need a spiritual art Friday video. And I was like, you know what? I'm doing an expo this weekend. I would love to have a crystal oracle deck. Might as well just make my own, you know? So, I'm almost done with the glue. It's very sparkly. So once this dries, it'll be this beautiful card. Right now it's very wet and very flimsy. So, so, I am putting gloss fixative because they're all glittery. I did both sides. They're all very glittery. So what I'm going to do, it's best to do this outside because it is, whoops, it is a, obviously spray. Um, what this does is it gives it a gloss shine. Also, it will stick all of the stuff to the paper. So I just wanted to show you that real quick. So I finished the deck. What I did, um, because of the glue, the glitter glue and the way it was, it was very sticky and you got glitter all over your hands. And since I'm going to be using this deck for other people, not just personal use, I went and laminated them. Well, here's the blue lace I get fun. I went and laminated them um, just to make it easier for shuffling too. And they're just very smooth and they, were, they turned out great. Um, I told you earlier in this video that I was going to have 22 cards, but I ended up having 21. Um, I didn't print off enough um, of the butterflies on the back, but it actually turned out the way exactly the way Spirit wanted because Spirit wanted Copper and Green Adventuring to come together. So it is a little shiny in the video. Once again, I'm not really sure how to do video editing, but I just wanted to show you guys. There's the hematite imagery. And all the backs are the same. How light. Appetite. Bismuth. Crazy lace agate. Selenite. Trapite. Red Jasper, Citrine, Lapidolite, Labradorite, Amethyst, Amber, Angelite, Dalmatian Jasper, Garnet, Rose Quartz, Blue Lace Agate, and Clear Quartz. So if you want to make your own deck, it's very simple. All I did was I took a bunch of index cards just to remind you index cards that's the base you can also just cut them out um, if you have paper that you want to do it on I used um, pictures that I found online however I do have like actual pictures so I think I might give this deck away as a um, prize and create another one um, glitter glue pickmonkey.com for the crazy fun lettering and the butterflies in the back and I use watercolor for the green and the red and the purple and the blue and then acrylic on the back and then I went and laminated them for me I have a resource at the university I go to so the lamination that I used was the medium lamination because um, they had a light medium and heavy and it only cost me $1.80 for all of this because it ended up being three feet of laminated stuff 
When you laminate, make sure you have spaces in between them and don't cut too close to the edge or they might unravel. So that's pretty much all I've got. If you like this video, go ahead and give, us a, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. I post videos about spiritual art every Friday here on this channel. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment below. Um, I will be monitoring it. And if you want a reading with this deck, just go to my website. The link's down below. And I, um, when you sign up and get your reading, specifically say, I want, a, I want a reading from the deck that you created. So, once again, I hope all of you have a beautiful weekend. And I will see you guys soon.